Today, I'm going to demonstrate a new artistic technique. I'm going to merge the best qualities of two artistic mediums, oil painting and color pencil. What you are now watching is a time lapse of me building up layers of illustration marker and color pencil over a pencil drawing. In about a minute, I will slow the video down to show you that color pencils can be blended by using mineral spirits and a paintbrush. I'm doing this artwork on 110 pound bond paper and please note that this method will not work well on simple 20 pound printer paper. This drawing was done as a tribute to Manhattanville College's iconic history professor, Mr. Lawson Bowling. Professor Bowling is a mentor and a friend of mine. He just completed his 25th year of service at Manhattanville College. It's an honor to give him this drawing and possibly turn him into an internet celebrity. Alright, so I'm going to dip my brush into the uh, turpenoid and I'm making sure that I have a soft brush and I'm making sure that uh, I don't press down too hard. Uh, onto the layers of uh, colored pencil. That's the problem. If you press too hard, it kind of picks everything up. And what I wanted to do was smooth it out on top of the um, marker drawing on the bottom. Uh, our skin is translucent, and we're trying to mimic the effects of skin. Uh, so the terpenoid, it kind of breaks up the wax in the colored pencil, and you are able to move it around. One of the problems with uh, colored pencil is uh, when you press really hard, it, it can leave a dent in the paper. Um, and it's really hard uh, to mix on top of that or make changes on top of that. Uh, but when you put the uh, terpenoid um, or mineral spirits on top of that, you could usually pick that up. And it's not too much of a problem. I'm using one paintbrush for this, but uh, I've used uh, several before. You know, sometimes you like to uh, pick it up or you know, apply the paint or move around the paint with one, and then you take a dry brush and smooth it out. If you have a brush that's saturated um, with, I'm used to saying paint, but actually in this case it's colored pencil. If you have a brush that's saturated with colored pencil, um, it's just going to you know, kind of like make it messy. So sometimes the dry brush, you know, having that spare dry brush can be really helpful. I'm looking at uh, different areas and, you know, I'm looking, trying to make sure that there's no really, really solid lines. Um, there's very few solid lines on the face. Um, there's the eyelashes, you know, there's a few areas around the eye, the eyelashes and the fold of the eyelids, um, certainly the mouth, uh, certainly under the nose, but other than that, um, everything is kind of like a, uh, a lot of blending on the face. And this allows me to soften it. And back to the time lapse, I'm putting on the finishing touches. Please note uh, that I'm going over it, uh, or I'm using more pencil, um, so you can layer this as many times as you want. It usually takes about, um, I don't know, like uh, four or five minutes uh, before you could rework it. You know, you have to wait that long uh, before you put another layer of colored pencil on. But it sure is a lot faster than oil paint. And there's the finished picture. Hey, thanks for watching, folks.